This lesson is going to be about even and odd functions. Even and odd functions. And it's super easy. It'll be super quick, super painless. Oh, let's get started. Math with Miss B. Math with Miss B. There's a thousand other places that you'd rather be. But you're watching Math with Miss B. So you have even functions. You figure them out if you plug in negative x into the function and it comes out the same. So f of x stays the same. And then you have odd functions that if you plug in negative x, all the signs change. If that happens, that means that it is an odd function. So what does that mean? So we're going to identify even and odd functions. f of x equals x cubed minus 6x. I'm going to plug in negative x in for all of the x's. So when I plug in negative x and a cube it, that means I'm going to get negative x times negative x times negative x. Well, that's like negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1. That equals negative 1. So it's negative x cubed. And then I have negative 6 times negative x, and that's going to be positive 6x. Right? So when that happens, I replace it. So my new function, when I plug in negative x, I'm going to get negative x cubed plus 6x. That is an odd function because it came out all the signs were opposite. It was a positive x cubed originally, now it's a negative x cubed. It was a negative 6x, now it's gonna be a positive 6x. So that basically means, that, that not basically, that means it's gonna be an odd function. Okay. Uh, the next example, I'm gonna do the same exact thing. I'm gonna plug in negative x into my, uh, my function, right? So negative x to the fourth power, that's negative times a negative times a negative times a negative. What's that going to turn out to be? Well, it's going to turn out to be positive, of course. And then we're going to do negative 2 times uh, negative x times negative x, right? Because negative x is going to be squared. So that's three negatives. Three negatives is going to come out positive. So what we're going, I mean, sorry, three negatives is going to come out negative. So what we're noticing is that the positive x to the fourth stayed positive, the negative two x squared stayed negative. So if the things stay the same, it's even. So this is an even function. All right, f of x equals x squared plus two x plus one. I'm gonna plug in negative x, right? So negative x squared and then two times negative x. Negative x times negative x, two negatives make a positive. Very good, very good, very good. And then two times negative x is gonna give me negative two x. So what do we have here? Well, the original problem had a positive x squared. The positive x squared stayed. The original problem had a positive 2x, but in this one, the 2x is negative, and then the one on the backhand side stayed the same. So it's either the problem stayed exactly the same, or every single sign changed to be the opposite. I can't have no kinds of in-betweens. So that means it's neither. I know I didn't tell you about that option. I just told you whether, identify whether it's even or odd. So I know you're like, what? I didn't know that was an option. It's tough, tough, okay? <laughs> All right, so we're gonna identify the function is even or odd, but this time I'm gonna give you a whole solid minute to try on your own. It should not take you a whole minute though. So I'm gonna get you started on there, 60 seconds. I feel like that was too long. But maybe I was like being nice. Maybe when I edit the video, it'll be like 45 seconds. Because I'm definitely going to speed it up. Okay? Speed it up. Maybe like 15 seconds left? I don't know. Drinking some alkaline electrolyte water today. I'm gonna make it a habit to show you guys what I'm drinking all the time. And time. <laughs> okay. 
okay, so when I plugged it in, um, I'm only, I have an odd five negative X's, so that's like five negatives. So that's gonna come out negative. The one is gonna stay positive. And guess what, only one sign changed. I either have all the signs change or nothing changes. If one of them changes and one of them doesn't, that's a neither. We not about that life. It's not even and it's not odd. Okay, so, uh, okay, yeah, one minute. I gotta transition quicker. I'm not doing nothing. I'm just here, staring at the screen. I should probably put some music in here, but who's gonna remember? Not me. <laughs> I didn't need that X purple. That's fine. Y'all don't need me to baby you. Hello. Hello. Uh, ten seconds, maybe. Peut-être. Peut-être. Anybody learning French? Français. Oh, oui, oui. <laughs> Anywho, uh, that is gonna be time. Okay, so when I plug in negative x, I get, uh, what am I gonna get? I'm gonna get uh, squared is gonna turn out to be positive. And the six, I didn't change nothing about the six. So guess what? That's going to be even. Yo, I have had so many disruptions today while I am filming. But we just got we got to get through it, you know? So here we are. <laughs> um that's going to be even. Oh my gosh. Okay, do this next one while uh I go try to Oh wait, <laughs> it's done. It's done ringing now, of course. Uh, it's fine. <laughs> My mom will always be like, you can record when I'm in the house. I can just go outside or I can go hide it. Meanwhile, she's making, the phone is ringing, her cell phone is ringing, her laptop is ringing. She's on the, I can hear her whole conversation. <laughs> and I'm like, bruh. This is what I'm trying to buy my own house. Um, but houses are expensive. <laughs> Save up now, guys. <laughs> ah. Maybe somebody will bless you with some money. Okay, time. All right, so we're going to do seven, negative three, negative X, negative X, negative X. So three negatives make a negative. And then I had negative, negative X. That's going to make a positive. So the 7x cubed was positive, now it's negative. The negative x was negative, now it's positive. Both signs changed, everything changed. So is it opposites? That's gonna be odd. Yeah. All right, now we're gonna talk about types of function symmetry. Uh, this is the, you're still determining if the function is even or odd, but we're determining if the function is even or odd by the type of symmetry. So when we're looking at even functions, even unction, even unctions, even functions have y-axis symmetry. So that basically means that the y-axis, if I folded the picture on the y-axis, it would be the same on the left, same on the right. Now then you have odd functions which have origin symmetry or y equals negative or y equals x symmetry. Okay. So that means if I folded it on the diagonal, that means that it would be uh if I folded it on the diagonal, it would be mirror on the top over the, the bottom, kind of. <laughs> I hope that made sense. If I, oh, you guys can't see the line. Okay, there's the line. If I folded it diagonally on that line, <laughs> then that would be, um, that would be symmetrical like that. Okay, so what am I talking about? Because you're not making no sense. So I have a parabola. We're going to draw y-axis symmetry. Do you think that that is right? Or do you think it is um, origin symmetry? Obviously, 
is going to be y-axis symmetry. So we're just going to go ahead and get get rid of that uh, line y equals x, and then you, obviously it's going to be even. You see, that's not bad. Okay, so let's do the next one. So the next one is going to be like the reciprocal function, right? So we're going to draw y-axis, and then what we're going to notice, we're going to know. Uh, that's not going to be symmetrical because on the other side, on the top, there's nothing there on the bottom side. But if I folded it on that diagonal, would it be exactly the same? Absolutely. So we're going to get rid of the, the y-axis line. And obviously, this is going to be uh, origin symmetry. So that's going to be odd. Ta-da! Okay, so now let's talk about this wonderful function right here, which is a cubic function. We're going to draw a line straight up for y-axis, and then we're going to do origin symmetry. Which one do you think it is? You would be correct. That would be um, origin symmetry. Now, I'm going to let you try some on your own. You have 10 seconds to think about it. Okay? On your mark, get set. time okay so when I draw my line y-axis and then I draw my do you uh nah nah neither neither boo boo neither honey boo boo okay because look if I fold it on the y-axis that's not working if I fold it on the origin y equals x that's not gonna work either so neither of those works it's an either it's an either even though that's a cubic function just moved up it doesn't have any kind of it it has a certain type of symmetry but not either of those specific types of symmetry okay 10 seconds time we're gonna draw the y-axis symmetry oh we're looking good right and then we're gonna do the origin symmetry line y equals x what we got going on that is gonna be even. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Last but not least, 10 seconds. Go. Oh, time. Just kidding. So we're gonna draw y axis symmetry and then we're gonna draw origin symmetry. And not looking really good for either of us so is this even or odd guess what it's neither and that's it that's even or odd functions in a nutshell and you learned about types of symmetry <laughs> okay uh, what do I say at the end of every video go back through the video and see if you understand with my help and then if not see you in the next one you know like comment subscribe share uh, tell your friends, tell your mom, tell your teachers, everybody, anybody, all of, all the bodies. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!